so our next data type is undefined so undefined is basically where variable is declared but it is not defined yet that is it hasn't been assigned a value yet so to give you an example if let's say if i create a variable called a and if i print this out to console.log a if i hit run there you go it returned undefined that means we created this variable but we haven't really assigned any value yet to this so if i let's say assign a value now i do a equals um test and if i print this out console.log a and i run again this time did not give us undefined basically for this return line 46 it's undefined but line 49 it actually gave us the value test so undefined is pretty straightforward where a variable doesn't really have a value assigned it will return as undefined so let's move on to our next data type which is null so null basically means it has no value and that's it so let's say if i do variable x i can assign a variable i can assign a value to this called null and if i print this out console.log x i run this there you go it says null that means it has no value and that's pretty much it um with undefined you're not actually assigning a value when you print this it shows test with the null we actually have assigned a value but we assigned it as null that means it's nothing it's empty and that will print basically null over here so there will be some use cases where you will be using this uh we won't worry about that too much right now and let's just move on to our next data type which is object so object is basically our final data type so object holds key value pair so to give you an example we're going to create a variable called names and um, to create an object we use quigly brackets which are these curly brackets or you want to call it and i'm going to do name one i will assign this a value called joe i'll create name two and i will assign a value jane so something to notice here that this works with key value pair so we are not really doing name one equals joe we are doing name one colon and joe and then we're doing name two colon jane so because now when we do this javascript knows that this is an object so let's say if you print this out console.log names and if you run this there you go this is part of an object so we can see that as part of this curly bracket we have this key which is name one the value which is joe another key name two with the value jane and we can also access directly um, let's say if you want to access name one I can do that by doing names dot name one. If I hit enter, there you go. It printed out the value for name one, which is Joe. And there's another way to access this instead of doing dot notation. I can do bracket, which is square bracket this time, and pass in as part of a string here. I can do name two. So if you notice, what I'm doing is creating uh, names, which is a variable, and then square brackets, and then I'm assigning name two. Or basically uh, adding a name to and the brackets and if i run this it will print out jane so you have two options either you can print it this way or you can print it this way so there will be some use cases where you technically cannot print this way you might have to use it over here so one thing to keep in mind that javascript is a dynamic type language now what that means is basically we can update the value of variable to assign it a different value so in this case this is assigned to an object i can go ahead and easily change this and assign it to let's say a string i can name this and if i print this out console.log names if i hit run there you go and this time it's actually test so we just updated the value from this object to basically this so there's no way for us to that's actually preventing this to update so this is what we mean by dynamic type language so anyone can come and basically update this to something else let's say i can even update this to a number now and there's basically no errors throwing up so javascript is okay with us keep updating this to any value that we want now there are some ways to actually restrict this which we will look into later on so there you go we covered all the data types that are part of javascript now one more thing i'm going to cover here which is called array so array lets you hold collection of data whether that can be number string etc so to create an array what we will do is let's say create an array of planets we will store different planet information so to create an array you have to create it in square brackets and i can add this over here which is let's say earth 
with another planet, uh, Mercury, and let's say Jupiter. Okay, and if I print this out, planets, hit enter, there you go, we can actually see all this list of different planets. Now what's special about array is that array are indexed. That means each of this value have a number assigned to them. So an array starts from zero. So that means this is zeroth value one and two. So if I want to print out, let's say array one, I can do this by doing planets, add in this bracket, square brackets. And if I type in one, what this will do is print out Mercury. So this is zero and this is the first value. So I'm printing out the first one. If I hit run, there you go, I printed out Mercury. I can change this to print two. And it's printing out Jupiter. Now let's say if I add in three, let's see what happens. So it actually says undefined. That means there is no value there. There you go, there's another use case where you will see this undefined value being showed up. So the reason I said that array is not a data type is because array has a data type of object. So basically array is part of this object. And we can actually verify that if I do console.log and we can check this using type of and I can add in planets here. And if I hit enter, there you go. It says it's an object. So we just did type of planets. That means we're trying to confirm what's the type of this planet. So they said, oh, it's an object. It's not an array. And if I let's say do names here, which we know is an object, it will, sh oh, actually it's not an object because it was originally an object, but we changed this to a number. So it's actually giving us the number over here. Let's see if I actually comment this out. And if I run this again, this time it will say it's a string because there you go. Because the names we have updated to a string. And if I comment that out again and hit it run, this time it's an object because now we are not really updating it anywhere. This is an object and we're just printing it out over there. So this way, if you want to check something, what's the data type of that particular uh, variable, you can do that using type of. So I kind of liked you when I said that we have covered all the data types, we actually missed one and that is called a symbol. So symbol was added later on as part of ES6, which is the new JavaScript, but we will not be covering this or in fact using symbol as part of this course. So I will be skipping them for now. However, I will add a link in the resource section if you are interesting about learning about them. So there you go, we have covered all of the data types and briefly looked at how to use them also. I will add a link to the REPL so that you can access this and play around with them if you want to. I know this was a lot, so take a break and come back and we'll move on to the next lecture.